Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to install a custom ROM on your Samsung Galaxy A51. Custom ROM is a different version of your uh, Android made by the users, um, not by the manufacturer. It may be, for example, a newer version or with some new features or with different features or maybe it'll look like the pixel experience, not like One UI. Has a lot of features. It is pretty cool to mess around with it. <coughs> So if you're ready to go, let's unlock the bootloader first. To unlock our bootloader, you'll need to go to settings and go to connections in your and then Wi-Fi and connect to Wi-Fi if you're not connected. Once you are connected, go to about phone, software information and tap on build number seven times. Now go back. Also, make sure to know your modal name. I'll tell you why it's important later. So know your, you can write it down. Mm, also sign out of any Google account if you have one, because uh, it is also pretty important. You can do it in accounts and backup, manage accounts, click on the Google account like that, remove, remove, and now go back. Now we can uh, simply, hold on a second, I'm just gonna click on something, okay. We can uh, simply go to developer options and if you are connected to Wi-Fi, you should see OEM unlocking. You need to enable it, then click on enable. Now shut your phone down by pressing and holding on power and volume down. Tap on power off and tap on it again. Get a cable ready, a cable that is already co connected to your computer. Uh, once it's connected to your computer and not yet to your phone, uh, start pressing and holding on the volume up and volume down and then plug in the cable. You should see a blue screen on your phone. Uh, Press and hold on volume app until it gets to unlock bootloader. You can see it asks me whether I want to unlock the bootloader. So I need to click on volume app to say yes. We do want to unlock the bootloader. It's going to take a little moment. It, uh, the phone is going to reset. And after that, we can begin. So in the process, I'm going to click on the power key to continue to make the process quicker. Um, so as you can see, everything is being done now. In the process, we should already go to our um, <coughs> website. So go to hardreset.info and go to download. Now, if there's an ad, just close it. We'll need to get two things. First of all, Samsung drivers. You can see with this icon, click on download. Uh, then the next thing is add-in, type in add-in, then get the version 3.14.4, download it as well, and you'll get two different files. Um, I don't think I have them. Yeah, I'm actually going to download them. Um, let's get add-in here. Save, download, and the Samsung drivers. And uh, now once you have them, you can go to your uh, phone's uh, file explorer, uh, refresh, you can see we have a DIN, right click on it, click on extract all and click on extract. Then do the same with Samsung drivers, right click, extract all, extract. <coughs> Now, go to Samsung USB drivers, open the application and install the driver. Once you install it, by clicking on next a few times, restart your computer. Once your computer is restarted, go to add in and open it. Like that, just this application, click on OK, and we are in Adin. We're going to use it to communicate with our phone and send the custom recovery for it, because first we need to get custom recovery, then custom ROM. And now, speaking of that, if you have the same model as me, the exact model, SMA515F, then you can get the link from the description down below to download some example files that we have prepared. We have prepared TWRP, which is the custom recovery, the most common one, and custom ROM. A few different versions. You can, for example, install CR Droid, then Nick Gaps, or some XROM, <coughs> which is made to like 
make your phone behave like S23 FE instead of A51 or Lineage, which I'm going to be installing. Um, Lineage is the most popular custom ROM. And also for the Lineage, I'm also going to install Nick Gaps to basically get Google services on my phone. So we'll be getting all of that. Basically, if you want to use our files because you have the same modal and you don't have any other files to like use, then you can use ours, of course. Mm, if you have SMA515F, then simply click on download here and click on download as zip file, then extract it, of course. I think I need to do it. Yes, let's right click on the SMA515F, click on extract all and extract. I hope I have enough space on my disk. Yeah, quite enough. Okay, yeah, it's being done. You can see the phone is still turning on. Uh, the bootloader is now unlocked. That is really good. Okay, the files are already extracted. The phone's not yet on. You can see it takes quite some patience. Um, but, you know, you can just leave it out there. Let it sit for a moment. Get some coffee or whatever. And, yeah. I'm gonna get back to you when it turns on. It takes a really long time. Okay, now the phone is on, so let's put it in download mode. To do it, press and hold on power and volume down. Um, tap on power off. Also unplug the cable from the phone. And now we're going to do a similar thing we did a moment ago, but a little bit different. So let's press and hold on volume up and volume down, and while doing so, plug in the cable. But now when the blue screen comes up, this time shortly press on volume up. Now your phone should light up in a DIN program. I don't really see it, which is really weird. I did not expect that. <coughs> I think it should be working. Um, <laughs> that is really, really weird. I'm gonna try to unplug it, plug it back in, maybe switch the cable to a different one. Although this cable worked with a different phone a moment ago, so yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try a different cable. Okay, a different cable made it work. You can see it has light up as a COM part. All you need to do is go to AP here, then go to your downloads and go to um, go to your um, folder with the custom recovery and select TWRP, um, click on open and click, uh, go to options, go to auto reboot, disable it, factory reset time should be disabled as well and click on start. It's gonna be really quick. So wait a short moment. Okay, now it's done. Now you'll need to start pressing and holding on power and volume down for about 7 seconds until the screen goes off. Once it does, move your finger from volume down to volume up and uh, while still pressing power button and that will get you to recovery mode. So let's do it. Power and volume down for about 7 seconds until the screen goes off and once it does, move your finger from volume down to volume up while still pressing the power button. When Samsung logo appears on the screen, keep pressing volume up logo uh, button without the power button. We should get to recovery like that. Now, we should get to advanced, go to terminal and type in multi-disabler without a space, just multi-disabler. I'm gonna try to put it closer to the camera. Multi-disabler, then approve it. Go back, go back, go to wipe, format data, type in yes, approve. Wait a moment. Go back, go back, go back. Advanced terminal, again, multi disabler. <coughs> Approve, wait a moment, go back, go back, wipe. 
swipe to factory reset, go back, go back. On the main page, click on reboot and select recovery. Wait a moment and we're gonna be ready to install our custom ROM. You can click on the power key to continue to make the process quicker. Okay, mm, now you can see mm, <coughs> we will need to go to, um, you can click on mount here, then go to your uh, computer, go to the file explorer, this PC and select the SM, go to install ins internal storage. And as you can see, there's the TWRP folder. It should be only that. And when, it, if it is, then you can open your downloads or the, the folder with the files in a different window for example so I click on putting another window then find your SMA515F go to SMF uh, like here custom ROM and I'll be installing lineage with nick gaps so let's uh, select those two move them uh, like that uh, not into the TWRP folder, rather just on the side. <coughs> Wait a moment until they get copied. <coughs> okay, they are almost there. So um, let's turn the phone on, unlock, go back, go to install, and now go to lineage. Swipe to confirm flash and wait a moment until it flashes your system with the lineage OS. <coughs> it's taking a little while, not too long, so it's also great for that. <coughs> Sorry. I'm gonna get back to you. Now when it's done, go back and then go to Nick Gaps. Swipe to flash, confirm. <coughs> and wait a moment until it installs everything. It's also gonna take a moment. I'm gonna get back to you. As you can see, it's done. So now we should tap on reboot system. Unplug the cable and let it finish. I'm gonna click on the power key to make, it, make the process quicker so the alert doesn't stay there for half a minute. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna get back to you when it's done, because it's gonna load and load. I'm gonna be back soon. Okay, the phone is done. Let's set up it, set it up real quick. I highly recommend skipping the Wi-Fi because it's gonna load forever. If you don't skip the Wi-Fi, let's set up offline and just do it later. Why not? Mm, you can you can connect to Wi-Fi at any point, right? Let's skip everything, basically. Because we don't really need to go through all of that now. Okay, we are in Lineage OS now. As you can see, it works. Looks quite great. And I hope that this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.